whew, I can't believe it. I, I'm so relieved that Vic is okay. You know, we had a quiet situation here, Pinto Pony Ranch. You know, 22 uh, uh, rattlesnakes of a high caliber, you know, very fit rattlesnakes. They've been exercising and out there in the field, so they were strong, and they came across Vic just lying there having a sunbath, and they just jumped right on Vic. You know, and uh, I can't believe it. While Will McNamara, he came right into the situation, called the doctor, and alerted me when I returned home, and, 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 and we handled the situation. It was an emergency. Emergencies make your adrenaline really go. Uh, you know, and you got to try to stay calm. I was pretty calm in a frantic kind of way. Anyway, um, thank goodness Vic's okay, and not a one of them rattlesnakes ever bit him. They just wanted to play, you know, they just wanted to hang out with Vic, because he's quite a nice guy. And, uh, you know, he never done hurt a rattlesnake, so why would them boys ever want to hurt Vic? Anyway, I don't know about this career thing. I, I, I could either stay on the ranch and forget my career with Peggy Lambrowski. But you know what, it'd be kind of sad, because I like that, that music, anyway. Or I could give up the ranch and go whole hog into a musical career. Uh, you know, but um, then I wouldn't have the peace and quiet of coyotes howling in the night. You know, and the blackbirds singing and the cardinals are flying and catching your eye against a turquoise blue sky. So I'm going to do both, you know, and right now I know Peggy's probably a little bit upset with me. I don't blame her. I forgot to go down to the Grange Hall four nights in a row. You know, she booked it, but I just had done one, and, you know, I went down to South Carolina for a year and heard with Regina Renfeld, and it didn't happen again. And, you know, has that ever happened to you when you went to something important to you and you were stood up? or put aside, or ignored totally. Well, I did, several times. But you know, I like that Regina Run Field, and I really do hope I'll get her interview pretty soon, you know, and I know Peggy's upset, because uh, I didn't make those dates down there at the Greens Hall, and I lost my calendar, and that's why. And have you ever lost your calendar, or your appointment book and you just kind of winged your schedule and don't always work out so good, right? How you doing, Vic? Have you ever in your life been torn to pieces about which direction to go in life? Well, I have and I am now. Do I sell the ranch and pursue a career, or do I pursue a career and sell the ranch? <laughs> it's beyond me what's the right way to go. You gotta listen to your heart. And I, 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 I'm tired, so listening ain't so easy. Don't come natural like to me when I'm on overdrive and everybody wants this and everybody wants that. You ever had that feeling like everybody's waiting for you? You ever been kind of overwhelmed by life in general? Well, I have. 